Another big delay could be in store for the future of KCI, the turbulent mess the city is now facing as one of the developers is calling for a restart. Good evening and thanks for joining us, everyone. I'm Rhiannon and Ali. And I'm Kevin Holmes in for Mike Maruzars tonight. The city just two days away from making a decision on who should rebuild KCI. Now Burns and Mac asking for the process to start over. We just spoke with their attorney who says it is to ensure the public that everything is on the up and up. We're prepared to go back through more process in order to assure that, that when we go out to the election, we can say to the public, this was a good process that made this selection. 41 Action News reporter Kat Reed is live at City Hall. And Kat, I understand all of this has to do with some conflicts of interest. Break it down for us tonight. Yeah, so it does. Basically, uh, Burns and McDonald is calling foul play because a law firm that's helping the city with this whole selection process also represented one of the other companies that's bidding on the project. However, members of the selection committee who met here at City Hall today tell me that they do plan to have the city attorney look into that, but they're going to go ahead with the announcement on Thursday. I am very confident that this process has been a fair and equal process. But Burns and McDonald disagrees that the bidding process for a new KCI terminal has been totally fair and transparent. The company issued this statement on Tuesday, asking the city to completely start over because of a conflict of interest. A law firm working with the city on this process also represented one of the other companies bidding on the project. The litigation threats, the accusations back and forth, all of that, I don't think it's shown the public what is the best procurement it could be. Councilman Quinton Lucas tells us there have been days when he has lost faith in the KCI selection process. Still, he doesn't think it's time to throw in the towel. I think uh, we're seeing a new conflict of interest issue raised every week. We're seeing uh, just a plethora of things that keep coming up. It's time to decide. Lucas says council members can then consider the issues raised about conflicts of interest. Members of the selection committee tell us the city attorney will draft a formal opinion on the conflict raised by Burns and McDonald. All of that information will then be shared with the whole city council. We want the opportunity not only to put together our thoughts um, as an independent selection committee, but also to take the allegations that have been made, um, have our legal counsel address our city council, and make sure that we're making a decision that's best for the city. I reached out to the three other companies bidding on the KCI project. Now, neither Edgemore nor ACOM got back to me, but JLL did, and they declined comment. The selection committee will reconvene tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Reporting live in Kansas City, Cat Reed, 41 Action News.